Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. When you're creating content, your production quality is going to be very important, specifically the video and audio quality. But if I had to choose between the two, I would say audio is more important because you can have the best video quality in the world, but if your audio sucks, then it doesn't matter. And the biggest problem that I have is background noise on my videos. And so today I'm going to be showing you how I reduce or remove background noise using Caden Live and Audacity. So if I bring up Caden Live, I import the clip here. All I have to do is right click on my mouse, go to extract audio and choose that right there. And then you can name it whatever you want. It will export it in a wave format. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, if you actually go to the folder where your video is at, there is the audio file. Now from here, you could take this audio file into Audacity. You can just right click on your mouse, open with Audacity. And it's obvious that you're going to have to have both Caden Live and Audacity installed before you do this. And so what I like to do is just read the files directly. It's faster for me. You could choose the backup, make a copy if you want, but I just feel that it's easier. Now on this video, you're probably not going to hear the background noise, but let me show you here the actual signal, audio signal. You see there's some fluctuations here. So this is the background noise. And so what I normally do is just highlight this portion. This is before I actually start speaking in the video. What I do is go to effect, noise reduction, get noise profile. And now it's basically remembered this portion of your video. Now what you do is you can either do a edit, select all, or you could just do control A, which would do the same thing. And now it's selected your entire video, go back to effect, repeat noise reduction. And what it will do is it will look for anything with that background noise audio and it will reduce it or basically remove it in some cases. And so that is a really great thing. And now, as you can see, there's pretty much little to no fluctuations. It's pretty much flat line, which is what you want. And so whenever it sees this exact same pattern in your video, it will reduce it or remove it completely. And so once you have that, you'll go to file export audio and you can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to call this audio clean and you can export in whatever format you want. I do MP3. I just save it. And now it's going to go ahead and export the new cleaner file. And then this is a 11 minute long video. So once you have that, you go back to your folder and there's the new MP3 file audio clean. And all you do here is you would import this new audio file. Okay. And then take your video down here and take your new clean audio right underneath. And this isn't going to be a Caden Live tutorial, but I just want to show you what I do. And if you see here, the original video, it still has the audio, but it matches up. So all I do is go to clip video only, and then I go ahead and edit the video from there. And so that is how I actually get clean audio on my videos where I reduce the background noise or in some cases completely remove it. And the great thing is now that you do have this clean audio, you can use it for whatever else that you need. And there are many ways in which you could clean up your audio. But for me, this is the easiest way and it's pretty effective. And so if you had any thoughts on improving your audio quality, reducing background noise, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you actually wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then join my Go Content Creators Group where you would get access to 30 free videos and more continuing content for all their creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is all of this is free. All you have to do is simply go to the link below, head over to our page and join my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks a lot and I will see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.